<laughs> so akil reddy tell me like uh, how many types of relationships we have in salesforce sir we have five kinds of relationships sir mm. self relationship look up relationship master detail relationship uh, many to many relationship mm. and one more is hierarchical relationship sir in in uh, in self relationship if you want to create a relationship to same object then you can keep self relationship sir mm. we, can, we can create a self relationship between a child and parents both are same object sir mm. in look up relationship uh, if you want to create relationship to different objects then we will create a look up relationship sir okay uh, it will be for child to parent sir it will be loosely couple uh, parents is also not required mm. parent uh, if you delete parent record child record will not delete and mm. uh, we can create up to 40 lookups per object sir okay for uh, master detail it, it will be for child to parent sir mm. it is uh, tightly packed Mm. And if we de- delete parent record, child record will also delete automatically. Mm. And we can create up to two master details per object. <clears throat> okay. For many to many, one product will have many price book, and uh, one price book will have many products, sir. And uh, price book entry will act as junction object, sir. Okay. We can connect uh, product and price book through this jun- junction objects. and a hierarchical relationship it is re- relationship between two users sir mm-hmm. it is available in only user objects okay so then pooja uh, madam so how we can identify which one is primary most critical uh yes sir uh, we can identify it by uh, if we get go to Uh, there's a tool web master oh, what so matter what the, was the tool name it's uh, i forgot the name i'm so sorry it's web what or it is workbench uh-huh. sorry so if we go on that tool so that is being considered as the best practice so if we go on that tool if uh, uh, the relationship order is 1 uh, it's a it's z1 0 it's a primary and if the relationship order is 1 it's a secondary secondary relationship order is 1 is a secondary Yes. Sai Shanmuk, <clears throat> can we convert the lookup to master? So we can convert uh, lookup to master later. But mm. because sir, uh, with the existing records, we can't be able to do that. Uh, firstly, we need to create a uh, whatever the You need to populate the lookup data, and then you can able to convert the lookup to master. So your voice is very low. Please speak a little bit slow and uh, loudly. Yes, sir, am I audible? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can able to convert lookup to master, uh, but not with the existing records. We need to create a new one, and then we need to populate the lookup data with the particular uh, object, and then we can convert from lookup to master. Bagesh, madam. Yes, sir. We can convert lookup to master, but there is a condition like uh, uh, in the master parent is the mandatory field uh, to save the record. Uh, but uh, lookup uh, there is um, parent is not mandatory, so there is a chance that some fields, uh, uh, some records does not have the parent. So first we have to populate data for all the parent. Uh, Uh, fields uh, in the uh, lookup, then only we can convert into master. Okay. Hmm. Then is already, you know. Tell me, can we convert uh, master to lookup? 
Yes, sir. We can convert, but there is only some conditions. Uh, you can convert a master detail relation to, to a lookup relationship as long as no rollup ro summary field exists on the master detail object. Okay. So, Vanuja, what is rollup summary? Where we can create rollup summaries? In master detail, um, we can create roll-up summaries. Roll-up summary is nothing but uh, we can create a parent record in the master detail relationship, relationship to summarize the child record. I mean, uh, uh, roll-up summary having some functions, count, sum, mean, and max. Okay. So Taj, what is validation rule? Why will use validation rules? Then Nadi, they first admin class, sir. Then only development classes, CPP classes, sir. Okay. Sure, sir. No problem. You join only for development and the CPQ. No, sir, I joined for four, but you, when I'm starting, uh, I mean, according to the channel, no, no, it could be in development classes, sir, no, sir, admin classes, no, it could be in there. Just call me after this class once. Sure, sir, I will call you. Mm. Vishnu? Sir. Why will you evaluate some of these? Uh, to check whether the given data is uh, uh, proper or not before saving the record. Okay. Can we skip validation rules for any specific uh, profiles or users? What do you uh, No, sir. We can't skip for users. Mm. For example, I have it to is, skip validation rules is. for admins. Admin profile. Sorry, sir. Don't turn on. No problem. Pooja, madam, can we skip validation rules for any specific profiles, any specific users? So I don't think so. We can skip validation rule if it is uh, because it's generally to not uh, to not allow to enter any invalid data. So it should be applicable to everyone. Bhagasri, madam. Yes, sir. We can skip uh, validation rules for uh, specific profiles and users while creating the validation rule itself. We have yes. to give the end condition where uh, and uh, specific profile not equals to uh, some user or profile uh, and our validation rule. So both conditions should be true. Then only validation will fire. So other than that user or that profile, uh, everything will be true. So true and true matches, then it will skip a uh, validation rule for specific profiles and users. Yeah, what we can call those users profiles? Global variables. Correct. Global variables yeah. are global objects. We have to use a dollar symbol for to refer profiles, users, mm -hmm. right? All those things. Yes. And using uh, custom settings also, we can skip the validation of this. Hierarchical custom settings. We can call that hierarchical custom settings. Oh. <clears throat> can we skip validation? Generally, validation is when validation is will fire for new records or existing records? For both. For both. both new and existing. Shajida Sheikh, tell me, I want to skip validation rules for. I already violation rule is there. That violation I want to skip for new records. We should fire only for existing records. Okay. How we can skip violation rule for new records, but same violation needs to work for existing records. So we use is new function for new records. Correct. Just we can use the is new, not is new. Okay. It will work for only existing records. Okay. 
If you use age new, it will work for only newly birth. Understand? Yes. Mm. <laughs> to refer uh, to refer quickest values, which validation function, uh, which function we have to use in the validation rule, uh, Monith. This is you are also joined later, or you join class admin classes, Monith. Aren't you attending such a process? Will join us. Ah, idea. How we can refer to this quiz in the validation rule? Pick list in validation rule. Hmm. Pick list fields in the validation rules. Pooja, है ना? Ah, is pick value? Is pick value we can use, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so Ranjit Kumar, Saish and Muk, anyone. So, what is the difference between is blank and is null? Sir, is blank will support both the text values and number fields, while is null will only support the number fields. Achha. Okay. Which one is uh, we have to use? Which one is best practice? Uh, using is blank is the best practice. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Uday Kran Chandra, what is page layout? Why we use page layouts? Vishnu, what is page layout? Uh, we'll use page layout to organize buttons uh, uh, and record uh, records. Records uh, we can use as a page layout. No, no. <laughs> no problem. So tell me slow. It is used to organize buttons and. Uh, um, sorry, sorry, sorry. No problem. Okay, ready. Sir, we'll use the page loads to organize fields, buttons, sections, and related lists, sir. Uh, we can also make a field required uh, in the UI through page layout, sir. Okay. Only required? I read only also. Not only required, you have some other option called what? Read only. Read only. Read only. Yes. Okay. So, what do you call Prabhakar Tumoji? Tell me, sir. What is the record type? Prabhakar Tumoji. Uh, yes, sir. The record type. Uh, <coughs> and we can, if you want to assign different pay box to different users, we will use record types. The voice is clearly less. Could you please come again? <coughs> it's you. If you want to assign different payloads to different uh, users, mm. we we'll use record types. Based on the profile, sir. Oh, yes. Okay. Sir. Based on the profile, only we can assign different layouts to the different users. Different users. Only page layouts or anything we can control. Uh, we can also control sir, field dependency. Field dependency? Uh, <coughs> What else we can control? What the castle using uh, record types only page layouts? Yes, yes. Sir. Yes, sir. Puja, madam, what else we can control using the record types only page layouts? Uh, no, we can control pick list values and uh, uh, the different. Fields. Fe fields which we want to show it Understand, to the client. You can control pick list values also. Okay. No problem. Hmm. Okay. Okay, sir. So, create record types for Lead case and apartment. 
Can you create record types for these objects, sir? If yes, then what is the pre step you have to do before creating record types for this? Rakesh? Yes, sir. Tell me how we can create record types for lead, case, and opportunity object. Can we create record types for these objects? Yes, sir. What is the, what is the step you have to do before creating record types? Anil Kumar. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can we create record types for these objects? We can assign different page layouts to the user based on the profile. We can control the fish value by using that type. Mm, that is a record type definition, sir. Akil ready? Akil ready? Bagasri, madam? Yes, sir. We can create a record type for lead case and opportunity. To create a record type for opportunity, we have to create the sales process. And uh, to create a lead record type, we have to create the lead process. And uh, to create the case record type, we have to create the support process before creating the record type. Right. Without these processes, we can't create the record types for these three. Lead, okay. case, and opportunity. Correct. Okay. So this is one and uh, okay. So what is the difference between import wizard and uh, data loader, Sajida Sheikh? Yes, sir. So both we uh, use for loading data. So generally import wizard is uh, if you want to load up to 50,000 records, we use import wizard. And by using this, uh, uh, we uh, we both like uh, we will upload only 50,000 records. It's a Salesforce internal tool and uh, uh, it performs uh, operations in this uh, uh, insert, update and upsert. Uh, we use a CSV file here to uh, upload the file. Uh, this uh, supports only few standard and custom objects. Uh, and then data loader, if you want to upload more than 50,000 records, so we will use data loader. So uh, we can upload up to 5 million of records. And uh, same here also, we will use CSV files. So uh, we can perform more actions compared to import wizard, like up insert, update, upsert, delete, hard delete, export and export all. So it supports all the custom and standard objects. So that's it. Sir. Okay. So what is the difference between uh, delete and hard delete, Puja madam? And export and export all. Puja madam, can you hear me? Sorry, I forgot to unmute. So, uh, uh, delete is uh, when it is deleted, uh, it can be uh, recovered from the recycle bin, but hard delete is the permanent uh, delete from the system. And uh, export is like uh, uh, when you are exporting, you export from uh, record level database and, res uh, and cannot export it from recycle bin, but export all will allow you to on record level database and uh, from recycle bin also what is sdl 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 file why will you sdl files um, is this, yeah is it correct sdl file sdl files we have now why will you sdl files in the data loader What is SDL file? Sorry. <coughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, sir. I didn't... Uh, no answer? No, sir. Okay. I don't know. what is the SDL file? Yeah, it's a Salesforce data loader file, mm -hmm. uh, which is generally used for this uh, select bulk importer export of data. Whether it is a import or update or delete or export or no, 
again uh, vishnu tell me so field is required in the page layout okay but i am not giving data in the csv file so can we insert data or it will insert it will throw any error message it will throw page through page layout sir ah uh, page layout level i have made required field no sir it will take it required will insert no yes sir If I make field required using the validation tool or the required checkbox, mm -hmm. I mean it will insert or it will not insert. For example, if I'm not getting data, it will insert. It will insert, sir. Every time it will insert. Ah, huh? page layout will required. It's not insert as the. Hmm? No, sir. At the time of field required, uh, uh, field creation. At the time of field creation, we make the field required. At the time it will not take. we should give data right and even okay. if you have any validation rules also we should give data okay okay otherwise it will not insert page level level if you make it required that is only ui level not in the title loader not in the apex code all those okay okay sir sai shanmuk uh i am inserting 1000 records 500 records are success Find that one unverse all the records are failed. So now my requirement is I want to load same same CSV file again, but I want to start with the find that one. Yeah. How we can? Yeah, in data loader uh, we have a settings called uh, select the I mean to say exact line from Excel sheet. So if we can select from find that one, it will automatically update from find that one to thousand. So what is insert? Can we insert null values using data loader? Can we insert null values? I guess no, sir. Bagashi, madam, can we insert null values? Yes, sir. We can insert null values. We in the from data loader, we have to go to the settings. There is an option like allow null values. If we check that box, then we can uh, give the null values to insert. What is the default uh, batch size? Data loader. Two thousand, sir. Default. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. What is the maximum? Two thousand. Two thousand. Minimum. Two thousand. Mm-hmm. Maximum. This could be increased up to ten thousand for fast efficient processing. So if you enable bulk API by default, it takes up two thousand records. Right, sir. Yes. The fault is two hundred. Right? So maximum ten thousand, right? So yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> so what is organization level security? Pooja, madam. Uh, so, organization level securities is uh, generally introduced in the Salesforce to make the organization more uh, secure for uh, users and customers. So, we have the three levels in this, which is the network access, uh, business hours, and holidays. Mm. So, uh, network access is generally to monitor the IP range, uh, and business hours is. Uh, is the working hours of the company which can be adjusted accordingly as per the organization's policies and holidays is uh, you know whatever the calendar holidays are there for the organization
So what is profile, uh, Rakesh? Yes, sir. A profile is a collection of group of settings and permission that define what a user can do in Salesforce. A profile controls object permission, field permission, user permission, and path settings, app settings, Apex class access, visual course page access, and page layouts and record types, login hours and login IP ranges. A profile controls metadata. A profile is mandatory in every user in Salesforce. And a standard profile cannot be deleted. We can delete only custom profile. Mm. One profile can have many users and uh, one user can have only one profile. There are two types of profile, standard profile and custom. Cool. So what is permission set, Anil? Kumar? The permission sets are the extension for profile permissions. Using permission set, we can only give extra access, but we cannot remove the permissions given using profile. Okay. And permission sets also collection of settings and permissions that determine uh, which data and feature users will have access to. And, uh, but these yeah. are related to extend the access or grant additional access. Okay. Permission sets are uh, additive, sir. And uh, user can have more than uh, one permission set. Sir. Okay. Sir, uh, assignment, tell me how we can achieve this permission too. Yeah. So there are. Uh, Five users in a team. Okay. So one team leader, the remaining are sales for people. For sales people. Okay. There is an object called work order, for example. For this object, I want to give a like only read access and create access for four people and for this person i want to give complete access edit it also how we can achieve this functionality only this object only not for many changes like the classes only two three objects only for example in this object i want to give some extra access what we can do in profile what we can do in uh, permission set now Prabhakar Tumoji, Pravalika, Anjit Kumar. We can, go to, we can create a permission set where we can give uh, credit access, like create, uh, read, edit, and uh, delete access to the team. So profile level, what access do you have? Profile level also, we should give uh, all the access, like object permissions, we should enable. If you, in the profile level, if we give all the access, then why permission set? Okay. Okay, in the profile level, we should give, give only read and create access to the Yeah, the profile level only can give read and create for that profile we can send to the five people. But for this user only, I'll give a permission set yes, with sir. the other access. Right. Understand? Yes, sir. So in the profile level, I have given all the access, sir. Create, read, edit, delete, all the things I have given. So using permission set, I want to reduce. Can we reduce? No, sir. We cannot reduce. No. Sir. No. no. We can only extend the permission. Extension of profile. Okay. So, what is the record level security? Like, what are the steps? What is the initial step we have? Then, what is the initial by default? Explain complete uh, end to end, sir, starting to end. Yes, sir. So, private. Record level security, sir. Uh, tell me. It determines which individual records user can see and edit. See in uh, each object they have access to in their profile, sir. Record mm -hmm. level security gets implemented by four things, sir. OWD means OWD, role hierarchy, sharing rules, and manual sharing. Mm -hmm. uh, OWD means organization while default determines the baseline level of access, sir, for all records of all objects. It should be most restrictive in record level security because other record level security implementation only grant additional access. Sir. They cannot restrict the access. Uh, OWD can be set in three, sir. Public read write and uh, public read only. Private. Yes, and then, uh, where are you? Any other things we have? Private read only, public and write. Any other options? Public we have, read, write and transfer also we have in lead and case of public. Public full access. Full access in campaign object. 
Mm. There is something called, uh, uh, I think, use. Something. Uh, controlled by parent. parent. Open up. What is controlled by parent? It is available in master, master data. data. Master data. Cascade delete is just true. Cascade delete is true. What, that why that will come sir, regarding security. That is a master detail uh, point towards the end. Okay. So, what is the role hierarchy? Uh, probably come, madam. Vanja, what is the role hierarchy? Mm -hmm. Role will control the data. Mm -hmm. um, role hierarchy is used to control the data mm -hmm. access to the record on Salesforce object. Uh, mm. based on the uh, users. Uh, if role hierarchy, we have to enable grant access using the hierarchy. Mm. Uh, if we enable the checkbox, what will happen? Uh, if we enable the checkbox, uh, checkbox means uh, role, uh, um, higher role people can see below role of people. Regards. Can we remove the checkbox for shared uh, objects? No, sir, we can't. What is sharing rule? Uh, one minute. Sadhita, Shai Sanbuk, what is sharing rule? Actually, sharing rules are used for sharing the records in this uh, in Salesforce. Actually, there are uh, several types of share, sharing rules, such as owner based, criteria based. Hmm. How we can share records? Yeah, using this uh, sharing rules, role hierarchy. Okay. So what is, what is manual sharing, uh, Sajida Sheikh? So manual sharing means so like if you if you if we want to share record directly, like by not using any other object, I want to share to the particular user directly. So then we will use manual sharing. So. Okay. Is only visible when OWD is private. Private or public is only. Puja, madam, tell me what is Apex sharing? Uh, so no, don't know about a pixel sharing. Okay. Anil Kumar. I feel ready. Sir. After manual sharing and before view, uh, all and uh, edit all epic sharing will be there, sir. Mm. What is epic sharing? Monit. Sir, we can only share the records using Apex programming. Through program, if you want to share a record, we can use the Apex sharing. What are the important fields are there in that sharing object? Which fields are important to share record with others? Anyone? User or group ID, access level, mm. read, insert, read share. Uh, that's a user or a group ID. Access level field yeah. and uh, whom you want to share that is your group ID. Can Rock has something important pillar in such share record. Okay, man. I'll give one use case and not. Okay. For example, there is a profile called a uh, sales profile. There is an object called work order. And that object I have a access called read create. Okay. So there is a work order object in the profile level, right? In the OWD for this object, I'm giving public read and write. So tell me, now user can modify record or not? 
whatever it is read and write but no, in sir. the proper level he is having read and write with grade no sir no sir why sir why because here it does not have edit access uh, the edit button is not visible as per the profile settings okay so you cannot modify can you delete no sir no no sir can delete Right. We can only create and read. Create and read. You can read other other people reports also, but cannot modify. Modify. Correct. Hmm. Okay, sir. One more case. Hmm. So, order three is. We'll take same example. Here I have given read, create, edit, delete object level. Okay. Here I am giving a public, private. So what will happen? User can see other people's record or not? No, he can only see his records. Only his records. Only his records. He can see only his records. He can modify only his records. He can delete only his records. One more use case. So, for example, in profile level, okay, just remove the thing here. So here, order bit is private only. Okay, I am not using role hierarchy. I am not using sharing rule. I am not using a manual sharing. I am not using Apex sharing. I am not using anything here. Okay, but. Users are able to see all the records. Are able to modify all the record. Uh, uh, this work order object completely. All the records and all them you can modify also. Why? With the view and modify. View and modify. View and modify. Yeah. View all and modify. Modify all. In object level, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. There is one more thing also that view all data, modify all data on the settings. What is that one? This is only. Uh, they Correct. can view and modify. Uh, if you if you enable that option, whatever the whatever it may be, they can modify all the records in the all data. Records. View all data, modify all data. Modify all data. Okay. So, so what else in this case? So what is report type, uh, Prabhakar? So, what is the report type? Uh, report type is used to uh, add the reports. Akil uh. Reddy. So report types means so which field you want to add in reports and by default which columns you want to add in reports. Sir. By default, all the objects will have standard report type. Can we create custom report types? No, sir, we can't. Huh? We can, we still can add, create, sir. We can create. I'll, yes, I'll show you. Once we create a report, yes, sir. If we create a report type, then we can create reports. Mm, one minute. So. Okay. So, what is the report? Oh yeah, madam. How many types of reports we have? What is the report? Uh, report is uh, generally uh, the summary of uh, the data required in the organization. So uh, we have tabular uh, reports, we have summary reports, um, matrix report, and uh, matrix, tabular, summary, and... Uh, there's one more. Giant report. <clears throat> Joint report. So what is the difference between all these uh, reports, uh, Rakesh? What is the difference between all these reports? Yes, sir. A table or display list of records with uh, 
simple gratitude portal sir summary mm -hmm. we can do group by with rows sir matrix we can do group by uh, with rows and columns sir the joint we can add multiple report types in a uh, single report how many how many blocks we can create in giant report how many report types we can add up to five so what is dashboard which reports we create in dashboard bagesh madam the historical representation of the report is nothing in dashboard and uh, for uh, uh, summary and matrix we can create the dashboard but uh, tabular and joint we cannot create the dashboard Okay. What are the sample dashboard components we have, madam? The pie um, chart, bar chart, donut chart. Mm -hmm. Panel. Vertical chart. Horizontal bar chart. Panel chart. Case. Yes. What is bucket field? Reports. Categorizing the data in a field is nothing but bucket field. Uh, for example, uh, if we take any companies, so based on their investment, if we want to categorize their company level, then we can use the bucket field. Like uh, say uh, mid range, la big company and small range company. So based on their income, we can set the range and uh, we can set to the bucket. So without creating any new fields, we can use directly this fill in the report level. Okay. <clears throat> what is assignment rules? Anil Kumar is there? Anil Kumar? What why will his assignment rules? So you don't able to hear me? Yes, sir. No, no, yes, sir. Now we are... Yeah, why why will his assignment rules? Anil Kumar. Yes, sir. Hmm. Where we can create these rules? What is the use of these rules? Hmm. What is assignment rule? Monit? Sir, it can what be used it? for lead and case objects, sir. Hmm. Uh, assignment rule can be assigned uh, automatically, but only one rule can be activated at a time. Hmm. Automatically assigned leads to the cases, leads and cases to the any particular user or queue. What is queue? What is Q? Q. Rack. Mm. Yes, I In Q for the records, they can be their owner, but not in Q. It's a collection of uh, profiles or users or something. A collection of users, roles, subordinates, or public. Roles. Correct. Please not a profile. Can I add profiles? Users, roles, roles, and subordinates, and the public groups also you can add. What is public group again? Where we can use queues, where we can use public groups. You want to share information or public group means everyone will have access to see sir. who are available in that group. Yes. Generally, public groups we can use in the sharing rules sharing to share department. Queues is generally if you want to use in like assignment rules, order response rules, uh, escalation rules. Okay, if you want to share records to the any group, uh, any, if you want to make any record owner to the queue, you can make it. So, what is auto response rules, uh, Sashan Muk? So, it is uh, whenever any, it, it will automatically send an email to the. Uh, email email time to you. Sending auto response messages for new, new cases. Using Only email one email auto message. template, it will automatically That's send an email to the particular user or anyone. Yeah, whenever leader case is created, he wants some, some automation email. 
we can go for address mm -hmm. controls. Only one address response rule will be activated, mm -hmm. activated in the activated system. Mm -hmm. You can add multiple rule entries. Okay, rule will be only one. Only one. Web to leave, web to case. What is escalation rule, madam? Ah, that is important point. One more point. This hard response tools will work only for which one, madam? Web to lead or web to, web to case? case. When those are case yes, or to response rules. Solution rules are available in case update only. Case update only. Mm, tell me what is, why will you just question this? When a case is not resolved within a particular time of time or business hours, then uh, it will be escalated to the superiors. Yeah. Yes. So applicable only for the case of yeah. time. You want active escalation can activate it. Hmm. What is freeze and the deactivate user? Can we delete user? Cannot delete no, a user. Sir, no, no. Mm. Then what is the use of freezing user? Freezing and nothing user. but uh, you can stop just pausing the, the particular user by using this button. By freezing and reacting. Uh, tell me one person, sir. Okay. Who is take giving answer now? Tavaka, tell me, sir. What is freezing uh, user first? Freezing, uh, using freezing uh, option, we can only deactivate uh, for a particular time. Like for example, for one week or something like that. But we cannot use a user license. Uh, if we deactivate the user, you can use the license from other user. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what is the field dependencies? Uh, Sindhuja ready? What is field dependency? She is there. She left. Everyone is here. I am audible, sir. Yeah. 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 yeah there are two types of field dependencies: a control field and a dependent field. Mm -hmm. A control field is that uh, which controls values in one or more corresponding dependent uh, value fields. And dependent fields have uh, fields displays values based on the value selected. For example, uh, controlling. For controlling field, we can take a country and dependent field, we can take the states. Mm -hmm. Default values can be set for controlling fields. Uh, we cannot set the default values for dependent uh, pick lists. Which type of fields we can use the controlling? Which type of uh, data types we can use the dependent? Dependence. Mm. Only pick lists? Are any other fields also we can use? Anyone? Standard fields. Controlling fields we can use standard and custom. Standard and fields, but in uh, dependent fields we can use pick list and multi pick list. Uh, checkbox also we can use in a controlling fields. Sir. Pick list and uh, checkbox as a controlling fields. Dependent <laughs> fields are pick list and multi select pick list. What is Field street tracking. By enable field history tracking, uh, you will see who made the changes at the time. The data it was updated and previous volume of the field. Okay. We can use up to track, huh? we can allow Salesforce allow you to track up to 20 fields per object, both standard or custom objects. So what are the read-only fields in Salesforce? Formula, auto number, auto number. Auto number. Auto number. Auto number. Right, sir. Hmm. What are the external ID fields we have? Email. Extra auto, auto number, number, email number. Auto number, auto number. Why will you use external ID fields? To integrate with any other org to Salesforce org. Hmm. Then? And if we if we don't have particular uh, record ID field, then we can use another external org to map that particular record ID in the Salesforce org. Yes. If you want to uh, like uh, modify record, delete record, or you want to find that record is exist in the other system by using external ID fields, we can. If ID is there, we'll update. If ID is not there, we'll insert. Even we did in the parallel browser, right? This concept. Okay. 
SAP ID can be used. So, what is the AP name for uh, product and price book objects? Product two and price book two. Product two and price book two. Product two and price book. Price book two. What is audit trial? What is audit trial? Anyone knows? Audit trial is due to uh, uh, audit uh, what all the things it was modified and what exactly users are doing. It enables to closely track changes made uh, uh, in the org. Correct. Yeah. Whenever user is modified some changes, it can track in the it website. Track that particular in the org. Audit trial. It, uh, it will store, uh, it will contain up to six, uh, last uh, 60 days. 60 days. 60 days. 60 days. 60 60 days. days. 60 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 days. Just you can track everything. What are the metadata changed, the classes changed, everything you can check. Understand, sir? Yes, sir. So, what is uh, like a custom setting, sir? Anyone? Custom settings we have, uh, right? With this. Will custom settings? Custom settings are similar to the custom objects, uh, but mm -hmm. custom settings will store in the catchy memory. So we can access these custom uh, uh, custom custom settings uh, quickly and uh, without SQL uh, so so queries, we can access these uh, custom settings. Mm -hmm. And we have two types of custom settings. One is list and uh, another one is hierarchy uh, with the list uh, same data we can uh, see for entire organization uh, for the hierarchy if we want to give based on the profiles and users the data then we can go for hierarchical yes okay uh, uh, that is all anything we did we missed madam any topics? Yes. So, uh, automated process. Email templates. Correct. Uh, so what are the templates we have said? The different types of templates? Email, text. Text, text HTML, HTML, text, HTML, custom. HTML, text, HTML, text, HTML, HTML and the custom, custom and visual purpose. Hmm. So what is the difference between workflows and process? It will not ask. Okay, almost the hypo in the instead of that one. Just tell me, sir, what is flows? Process we use the to perform tasks in sending email posting data sending custom mm -hmm. in Flows an applicable that automates the complex business process. Simply put it collects data and then run do something with the data. So how many types of flows uh, we have? Work only after saving the records. After saving record only, madam, before saving it will not work. So tell me, I'll go one by one. What, like, what are the different types of flows we have? What are we have, sir? Screen flow, auto launch flow, record, record, record flow. flow. In the auto launch only, there are like four types record, record flow, 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 auto launch flow, 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 fl
experience of life. Two captions. For screen flow. What is the record trigger flow, madam? Record trigger flow. When a record is created, updated, or deleted. There are two types. The condition is matched. Record trigger will flow. Type of automation, but some then now can through this flow. What is the like a uh, before record trigger flow? What is after record trigger flow? Send the chairman. What is before uh, record trigger flow? What is after record trigger flow? Yes, sir. Yeah. This will whenever record is created, updated, deleted. Uh, there are two types like uh, um, before trigger flow and after record trigger flow. Mm. For uh, before record trigger flow before saving the database uh, in that we have the uh, complex validations mm. what else and if if you want to update some same records we use the before record trigger flow mm. and coming to the after record trigger flow after saving the uh, database mm. that uh, sending email uh, notifications if you want to update the related objects in the then we can go for after record it. Yes. What is scheduled trigger flow, Rakesh? Sir, uh, this flow launches at a specified time and frequency for each record in batch. Uh, mm -hmm. Usually, we, uh, we use batch apex to do such kind of requirements. Uh, okay. But some kind of requirements can be done through close. Okay. This is scheduled trigger. So, how we can call... Uh, like APS classes in the flow monit. Using the, the flow segments, APS ah. flows. How we can call APS classes? Using the data, the data invocable method. Invocable method. And uh, only one method can be created in single APS class. Hmm. What is the parameters we can pass? Can we pass multiple parameters? Method parameters. What is the parameters you have to pass? Can we pass S objects? Anything? Or which data which data type we have to pass? The invocable method. What is the method? Type. Type of method. Anyone tell me sir, what is invocable method? At least four or five points are in Invocable method uh, must will have a static mm. and its classes must be an outer class mm. and public or global. Mm. Uh, triggers can't refer uh, invocable methods. Only one method in a class we can have the invocable annotations. Mm. Can't be used. Uh, other annotations can't be used with invocable method annotations. Okay. What are the parameters? Method parameters we can use here. Can we use uh, a list of S of the data? Uh, method will accept only one parameter at a time. Must mm. be at a static method. Mm. In one Apex class, we can use only one uh, invocable method. Method will not accept now not accept uh, accept S object S parameters. Mm. We can pass list of collections like IDs are limited data types, list of ID something we can pass. Okay. Sir. Okay. So what else we missing, madam? Approval process. Ah. What is approval process? How many types of approval process we have on Salesforce? There are two types. Two types of approval process. What are those? Abstract procedure and the standard set of procedures. So difference? Uh, by in the jumpstart wizard is a single step process, while the standard set of wizard can have multi steps. Hmm. Then anyone tell me what are the steps we have to do? Like what are the like uh, flows? Like like a higher, like a flow. It is like what we have to do first, second, third, fourth. Like that. I want like uh, some steps, flow of steps. What are the things we have in the approval process? Launch the approval process, yes, sir. Hmm. And uh, then we can use the unique view name, uh, description, hmm. and description name. Hmm. In the third step, specifying the criteria for entering the process. Mm. The fourth step, um, specify uh, approver field and record uh, editability. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, fifth step uh, sending the like uh, any we can select any email notifications yeah and uh, sixth uh, approval result request page layouts any we can uh, request any page layouts mm -hmm. and we can uh, initialize the submitters and mm -hmm. then we can activate the approval process mm -hmm. After that, after what else we have, madam? Initial submission actions, approval actions, rejection actions, recall actions. What are the actions we have, madam? There. What are the actions we have? For example, whenever the record is submitted for approval, I want to perform some action. What type of actions we have in that place? There. Approve, reject, recall, and improve. Actions, I'm asking. <laughs> Not approval doing. Task, email, update, outbound message, record lock, right? Those things we have. So, for example, already my approval process is active, madam. Now, okay, I have already one step is there. Already my approval process is active. Can I add one more approval step there? No, sir. We cannot add. No, sir. It's active. We can modify it. First, we can add the steps. Uh, once approval process is active, we cannot add a further steps. If you want to add, what you have to do, madam? Clone it yeah, and add. Yeah. Uh, clone, sir. We have to clone it and we have to add, add the new step. Old one, we can deactivate. Yes. Understand? Okay. Any other things, madam? Sandboxes. Uh, how many types of sandboxes we have, sir? Four types. Four types. What are those? Developer, developer, developer pro, partial copy and full sandbox. What is the URL for to log into sandbox? Which URL we have to use to log into sandbox? Paste dot sales. Dot sales first dot. Okay. And uh, what what is the main difference between the all these four sandboxes? Refresh interval and their data. Ah, uh, tell me, sir, for the one. Yeah. In the developer and developer pro sandbox, mm -hmm. we can only have metadata. Mm -hmm. uh, in partial copy, we can we can have access to records and some objects. In, in full sandbox, we will have access to all the data and metadata. In uh, sandbox is nothing but exact copy of a production. Production box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in developer, we can have only 200 MB of storage and the refresh rate is one day. For a developer pro, the refresh rate is uh, one day and uh, we have one GB of storage. In partial copy, the refresh rate is five days and we have five GB of storage. And full sandbox, uh, every 29 days it will be refreshed and uh, it have the same source storage. So, if lead is converted, what will happen? Converted to contact, contact opportunity. Contact opportunity. opportunity is converted. It will create account, contact, contact opportunity, opportunity, and task also. Right? Task will create or not create? It will create. Yeah, task also will happen. So, opportunity is mandatory or it is optional? It is optional. Sir. Optional. 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 So, what is the relationship between account and uh, contact? Can be both yeah, it is and important. master. Both uh, UI level it acts as a lookup relationship, but in the back end it acts as a master detail relationship. Yeah. Why like that? Well, because of cascade delete and what else? Mm, cascade delete is NM. So what is the relationship between account and opportunity? Parent and child, sir. Um... Look up. So, this, is also, this is also some different relationships, sir. As for the UI, it is a lookup, but in the background, it is a work like a master detail. But we can say this is completely master detail because we can create role of summaries between account and opportunity. Understand, sir? Work account, can you apply to account? Any? We can create. If we create role of summaries, means which relationship that is? Master master detail. Master detail. But this is something different. UI, lookup. Uh, in the background, it is a cascade. Uh, oh,
sir one question this uh, difference between salesforce.com and forstock ha ah, certain no sir like i wanted to know like okay hey, tell me sir anyone software, what is the difference is between uh, salesforce.com and forstock sir saas and pass anyone uh, it is a software as a service sir salesforce and force is a platform as a service hmm so salesforce.com is already we know so whatever salesforce is giving we can use it right like a default applications marketing sales service okay some uh, existing business servers whatever they are providing default fields do you have default objects tabs everything post.com yeah. means what sir you can customize this we can customize existing things or we can create a new things based on the requirement there is one more thing sir anyone knows or don't know mvc what is mvc anyone knows this name man manam ayithe class discuss cheyaled gaani but there is something called mvc correct model model view controller any guess what is the model what is the view what is the controller model ante em ostundi view lo em ostundi controller em ostundi so generally the model means uh, metadata sir like objects fields okay relationships and all those things what is view means general ga if you want to view uh, data what we can do we use sir page layout record types we have pages writing all those things to view controller means logic where we can do the logic automatically using flows workflows process builder or now we can use the triggers classes and all those so that is the difference between model view and controller so if you just type here mv scene salesforce in see the diagram let me start so one is good ah uh, example simple ga cheptunna sir model ante ent sir objects apps classes and all view ante man chuddaniki we have pages uh, components page layouts all those things they are giving only two to examples but controller means nothing but apps code okay and standard in other better one uh, you can see this is little bit good madam Controller means nothing but what, man? Class logics. Where you can do all the logics, classes, child controller, custom controller, or anything else. Model means objects, fields, or anything else. View means page layouts, view of pages, components, all this. This is called what, man? Salesforce MVC, Model View Controller. You can even come on it. You can do different things. Is it declarative? Uh, user interface, and just uh, view, madam. UI, okay. Page layouts, record types, declarative. Visual first pages, visual first component is a programmatic view. Business logic where we can do business logic. Man, normally in the configurations, validations, workflows, operator process flows, all those things. Business logic if you want to in uh, coding, triggers, classes, all those things. So data model what sir here? Data model. Objects, fields, relationships. If you something in the Salesforce also yeah. programmatic uh, bulk API. Okay. So this is Salesforce MVC architecture. What is multi-tenant architecture? The same platform can be used with different users, different clients. Multi-tenant, multiple clients can use same server. Ah, one resource can share to the multiple customers in the platform. Multiple customers. Multi-tenant. Multi-tenant architecture. So, maximum. These are all the questions. Now, admin man, they will ask. Now, apart from this, no one will ask any other questions. Salesforce editions is ah uh, editions that is a basic question sir. No one will ask. Tell me anyone like how many editions we have in Salesforce? Five uh, editions. editions. Tell group, me sir, what are those? Group contact manager, professional, uh, unlimited performance. Mm. Enterprise. Enterprise performance. In the real time, which editions we can use, man? Unlimited. Unlimited. So most of the companies will use a unlimited. For practice purpose, which edition we have to use? Developer. Developer edition. Yes, okay, so almost everyone is uh, giving answers, but still some people are uh, like uh, giving partial answers. Now uh, instead of partial answers, try to give complete answer, like five six lines. At least, when just a bond. Okay. Okay, sir. So. So similarly, we can uh, conduct other like development also. Oops, concepts we can conduct one day. So, I put it easy on to do. Okay. Okay. Yes,